It's been a while since we reacted to some Van Halen, and um, I think we only did Jump and the Eddie Van Halen Eruption guitar solo. So outside of those two, let me double check that, make sure I ain't tripping. But um, I, I don't remember going too deep uh, into the Van Halen uh, discography. But um, overall, I really like Van Halen, what I know of them. Um, just a fun 80s, just a fun 80s band. Um, one of those bands I feel like kind of personified the 80s. Um, I don't know why my computer is acting slow, but whatever. But yeah, I think those are the only two that I did from Van Halen. So don't have that extensive of, um, that extensive knowledge on, on Van Halen as much as I would want. But um really, really excited to uh to jump back into that journey, man. They they again, one of the bands that personified the eighties had a bunch of hits, classic moments. So I'm kinda surprised, you know, we didn't uh get into more Van Halen, but we're here now. This is hot for teacher. Now I was just telling somebody that I actually had a really big crush on one of my teachers. <laughs> Um, I won't say who, um, cause you never know who's watching. But I, I had a big crush on one of my teachers, big, big crush. Um, and now that I'm older, and I, I have dated older women before. Um, I think I had a shot, man. But you know, we'll never know. We'll never know. But uh, but yeah, I, at least that's what I'm thinking. This song is about. I mean, I'm just basing it off of the song title but maybe this is not about that and i just completely outed and embarrassed myself but anyway van halen hot for teacher it's an official music video as well we got some visuals we'll do the uh we'll do the song research afterwards but again man it's just good to be back with van halen man let's go Now, Waldo, I hope you find some friends this year. <laughs> oh, Mom, mm. you know I'm not like other guys. <laughs> I'm nervous and my socks are too loose. Sit down, Waldo. Time out. <laughs> Wait. Yo. Yo. Was those really kids watching? Yo. 
<laughs> Yo, the 80s was a... Oh, man. The 80s was just a different time, man. Everything pre-2010s is like... It's almost like a completely different world. The fact that they had real kids in there with that woman who wasn't... I mean, she was kind of dressed like how girls dress for pageants. Which is still a little risque, I guess, for a lot of people, but... <laughs> Yo, this is nuts. Now, I will say, this sounds nothing like Eruption and nothing like Jump. Um, this is a lot more fast-paced um, and just a just a different energy from anything else that I've heard from uh, from Van Halen. So, this is, uh, this is definitely something new, but... The style of this video and everything, um, it's just completely different from what I've known of Van Halen. But it's good. I like it. Yeah, the visuals like I'm so locked in on the visuals, but that was a really good solo by Eddie. And but not for nothing, the drums was actually what was impressing me more during that guitar solo. Even though Eddie he he killed it, that was a great solo. But the drums was actually going crazy. I forgot everybody's name. I know David Lee Roth and Eddie. I gotta get the other two guys' names. Oh, uh, but the drumming was absolutely crazy right there. But that was a great solo by Eddie. But, yo, <laughs> this music video, I would not be surprised if we find out when we do the research that this video got banned. Or it w it probably was in heavy rotation initially on MTV or something like that, and then they stopped. I would not be surprised, but we'll find out. <laughs>
Those guys are nuts. I'm high for tension. Now, not for nothing, David's singing was actually really, really good. Again, because of the nature of the song and what they're talking about, it's kind of easy to like look over it. But those little, whoo, like he had a little cool moments. Like David actually was singing his you know what off. He really, really was. And again, the uh, instrumentation of this record was actually really, really good. Again, it's just, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have watched the video first. I should have stuck with the studio so I could really focus on the music. Because I'm not going to lie. I believe at some point during this reaction, I was just staring at it. Because I could, <laughs> I was I was so distracted that it was kind of like hard for me not to like. I, I could I couldn't focus on on the lyrics and the music as much as I would have wanted to, cause the visual. <laughs> this is probably one of the funniest music videos I think I ever see. I'm not gonna lie. Um, now I can't get way. Oh, I know this was a big song. Y'all better give me some visuals. I mean, some visuals, some research. I'm on for tension. Oh yeah. Okay, maybe if I click on the album. Oh wow, this is on that 1984 album. Damn. So this song, I mean, this album had all the hits. Here we go. Yeah, this joint had all the hits. This joint had jump. Hmm. Okay, so taken from their sixth studio album, 1984, the song was written by band members Eddie Van Halen, Alex Van Halen, Michael, okay, so the entire band, and produced by Ted Templeman. Uh, released as the fourth and final single from the album in October 1984, it was the final single released during the band's 1974 to 1985 era. Song features Alex Van Halen's double bass drum performance and it's music video. Ah, so that that was a double bass. Okay, so yeah. Cuz again, the the drumming was absolutely phenomenal. It was absolutely phenomenal. It did kind of have like um Yeah, it, it just had that double double pedal sound to it. Um which I really really enjoy. Um Unusually for a single, it begins with a 30-second drum solo followed by another 30 seconds of instrumental introduction. I liked it, but that's unusual. I guess for singles, you kind of want to get straight to the point, especially if it's like a radio thing. I get that. They classify it as glam metal. That got to be because of a uh, subject matter. Because I agree with the other ones. They classify it as glam metal, heavy metal, hard rock. I agree with the latter two. Glam, not so much. But I guess because of subject matter. Uh, and I guess the style of band that they are. They classify it as glam. But I don't think it's glam metal at all. Honestly. Yeah, I want to go straight to the, to the music video. Filmed at John Marshall High School. An initial controversy arose when the video showed all the band members performing a quick crotch grab during the so bad part of the chorus. At first, the 1980s NBC late night show Friday Night Videos added black box sensor bars to the crotch grabs, but eventually relented and removed the black box from their video. That is hilarious. Out of all things, the crotch grab was like, oh my gosh. One potentially controversial scene managed to go unnoticed for many years until Angelus unveiled it in the 2011 book MTV Ruled the World. When Dave turns into the television show host, we had an idea. I thought, you know, there hasn't been a really substantial urine stain on MTV ever when you think really about it. When you really think about it. So let's pour a lot of water on David's crotch. Let's make it look like he really just pissed himself. And then let's see if anyone sees it when we hand the video into the record company and MTV. And nobody did. That is hilarious. 
It went number 56 on the Hot 100. That is hilarious. I think, I think before you even get to that and the crotch grab, I think there's so many other aspects of this video that <laughs> you could have block, uh, blacked out or censored. And the crotch grab is like probably last on that list. Um, but that's hilarious. Again, just a great rock and roll band um, in the 80s. Really personified that recklessness. Um, but just a fun record. Again, I relate to the record because I did have... I had a couple of teachers, now that I think about it. I had a couple of teachers I really, really... Oof. Anyway. <laughs> this is a great record. And again, David Lee Roth singing in this was actually exceptional. Uh, but again, because of the nature of the record and, you know, everything, it's kind of easy to overlook. But he actually sang really, really well. And um, Alex went crazy on the drums. He went cra He went absolutely nuts, honestly. Um, hear hearing that double pedal drum on these style of rock records is actually kind of refreshing like it's really it's a really really cool addition and um great idea for whoever came up with it great idea but yeah man that was van halen hot for teacher again um <laughs> a crazy one but enjoyable um we always have a good time with van halen man it's good to be back i know they have some more hit records man i know they have some more classics so yeah i just request them and let me know which ones i should check out man but that was a good one that was a crazy one <laughs> But that was a good one, man. Y'all let me know how y'all felt. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that 75K giveaway. Until next time, with Van Halen. Peace.